Okay, so today you won't be watching a video. Oh, okay. Okay. What will we be doing? Instead, we're going to be playing you selections of every song from the new album called Lemonade. I never heard of it. Lemonade. Beyonce? Oh, yes, that's um, the Queen Bee. Beyonce. <laughs> it's weird. Oh, yeah. Now I know why people like her so much. Only in my memory, it don't hit me quite the same. It's pretty. Oh, yeah. What a starter. It's okay, but it's a little slow for me. First part, it's, kind of, it's, it's like she's warming up. I mean, it doesn't make sense. But then when she gets into the song, it's okay. I mean, it starts out pretty. I don't know if it stays that way, but it starts out nice. I like that, reggae. They don't love you like I love you. Has an interesting beat. Oh! And not one, they. Hmm. Yes, some people consider it to be music. I just consider it to be a lot of jabber. So you're having affairs with other people and no one can do as well as I can. She is the queen after all. Let's, let's remember. I love it. Go, go girl. Try not to hurt yourself. This is a little bit too fast and too loud. <laughs> Very rock and roll. All this crossover and integration, I think, is fabulous. I'm not approved, and I know that the foul language, dirty language, is used. I don't think that popular stars need to include it in their lyrics. Middle fingers up! This is a little aggressive for Beyonce. You better call Ricky with the good hair. Oh, the good hair, yeah. I heard about that. So she said, put the middle finger up, you're out of here, dude. I like the rhythm, I like the arrangement, I love it. I don't understand uh, Becky with the good hair, though. Okay, who's Becky with the good hair? So this song has been one of the most controversial tracks since the album was released. The last portion of the song is what's really upsetting people. It says, you better call Becky with the good hair. Why would that be upsetting people? I have no idea. I mean, the hair thing, that's, I don't know what, what that's about. I don't know who Becky is, if it's if that's a nickname for Rachel Roy, I don't know. Or there's probably other, if there's one, there's probably others, because now we know why Solange was so angry in the elevator. Well, some believe that it has to do with the societal superiority put on white women's hair. Others believe that Becky refers to the woman Beyonce's husband, Jay-Z, allegedly cheated on her with. Oh. I knew that, I, which is actually one of the reasons why I started wearing my hair natural, because I felt like, you know, it's time for black women to start realizing that there is no good hair, bad hair. <laughs> hair is hair. Beyonce, baby, go pound it. Tell them, tell them, get rid of that Jay-Z rat. She's too good for him. Who's that singing? Is that her? That's Beyonce singing in that low range? Oh, what's this about murdering people? Who is this that she murdered? This you can dance to. So far, I would not buy this album. Everybody works for their money, but it does kind of sound like it's the oldest profession ever. Nothing you 
acoustic going has got a country crossover potential. Put his right hand on his rival. He's pouring on the Bible. My daddy says shoo. Oh, my daddy says shoo. Beyonce goes country. This does have a little of everything. I like this. It's funny, each song is like totally different. Beyonce in outer space. I like the tone. This is almost like before you go to sleep, you can listen to this. Nice relaxing song. She's got a great voice, beautiful voice. This whole album, a lot of it has too much, you know, it's I, it's to me it's interference. You know, you're not really hearing the singer's voice. We built San Castle. Oh, it's the sad romantic ballad. Snatched out the frame. It's just scratch out your name. Yes, you did, Beyonce. What is it about you that I can't erase, baby? Whoa, that's emotional. That's the first song that I liked, really, and that had uh, really gets her voice, which that you hear her, not a whole bunch of silly sounds. I love it when somebody who's actually capable of giving a decent performance is enabled to do that by stripping it down to minimalistic instruments. Oh, just your sleep and your definitely is not my style. Wow, that's a deep voice. <laughs> Sounds like a sci-fi movie. Oh, wow. I didn't like it. Super strange. I don't know nothing about what that is. Yeah, this is classic Beyonce. I'm a cable running cause the winner don't quit on themselves. Female power. This one is definitely get the audience going. Well, it started out good. The question of this becomes, freedom from what? There's some that have said this song is speaking out against systematic racial injustices. What do you think about the fact that Beyonce may be tackling such large issues in a pop song? Well, it's a good media. You need people of, of her caliber to uh, to do that. You think about how influential she is, I say good for her. You go, girl. There's always been racism and uh, probably will be for quite some time. So uh, the more that we bring it up and we discuss it, the more that people realize that um, it's something that we need to get past. Doesn't do anything for me. That was different. That was nice, too. This is about trust, and she's like, if we're going to stay together and get on with it, I have to find a way to trust you again. When are we going to get to the one where she says, I should never put that ring on? <laughs> Very danceable. Oh. I'm a star. I'm a star. Cause I slay. I slay. I slay. Okay, ladies, now let's get information. You know you that bitch when you cause all this conversation. I always say gracious. Best revenge is your paper. Best revenge is your paper? She's saying, you know. If we stay together, that's cool. If we don't, that's cool too, because I got it all. Many have said that this song is about women's empowerment, and the music video dealt with issues like the Black Lives Matter movement and poverty. What do you think about Beyonce having multiple songs that seem to be issue-based? Well, she must see a need for it. It's really representing what's really going on um, 
this country. I think if it brings it up to the surface and people start discussing these issues, that that, is, that empowers us all. Because of all the different controversial things that's going on in our life every day, and she wants to speak on some of those, I think for younger women who really need role models, somebody like her, they love her music, and for her to speak out, now, I think it's really great. We're done. That was the last song. Oh, okay. I can take this off now. All right, so now that you've heard this album, what do you think about Beyonce's music and her as an artist? I, no, that's not my type of music. Oh, I love Beyonce. She's a fabulous artist. I like Beyonce. I, I mean, I have a lot of respect for her. That's quite an album. I got to say that that really is quite amazing. It's as close to being contemporary genius as you can get musically. Thanks for watching this episode of Elders React. If you like what you saw, hit that subscribe button. Let us know in the comments what music we should react to next. See ya, Bayhive.